Welcome to Global Cube. Please subscribe Global Cube and keep in touch with us. Today, our topic is barnacles. What are they? A barnacle is a type of arthropod constituting the infraclass Cirripedia in the Cipylum crustacean. What? Let's be more simple. A barnacle is a kind of crustacean. Crabs, lobsters, shrimps also belongs to this crustacean category. For decades it was thought to be a mollusca. In 1830s J.V. Thompson found their larvae, which is typical of crustaceans. Barnacles are covered with hard plates of calcium carbonate, and can be found on hard surfaces such as rocky shores, docks, jetties and ship howls. Other than that, they can be seen on other sea creatures such as turtles, crabs and whales. Barnacles can damage these sea creatures, because it can cover and disable the flippers, and cover the eyes and nostrils to such an extent, making the creature unable to swim, see, smell, or even survive. Free-living barnacles are attached to the hard surfaces by cement glands that form the base of the first pair of antennae. In effect, the animal is fixed upside down by means of its forehead. They are covered with several plates of calcium carbonate, and two plates located on the top can be opened to allow feeding. They have feather-like attachments to catch small sea insects. Barnacles have no true heart, but blood being pumped through it by a series of muscles. Barnacles can be seen in several categories. Most common type is acorn barnacles. They can be seen on rocks, ships, and sea creatures such as turtles. They are round in shape. Second type is gooseneck barnacles. They fleshy stalks to stick to the rocks or other hard surfaces. They can be seen on exposed rocky coasts. Third type is superorder rhizocephala. They are basically barnacles without shells, which are parasites live on other creatures such as crabs and turtles. Type 4. Superorder acrothoracica. This one also lack of a shell and sticks to carbonate rocks and develop their shell using the rock. Some barnacles such as Japanese goose barnacles, considered edible by humans, which is mostly famous in Spain and Portugal. Would you like to taste some? If you enjoyed watching, like this video and subscribe Global Cube.